All right, this is the Eastwood MIG 175. We're trying to figure out what's going on with it. Here's the the uh, control board on it, and I'll show you guys a close up of that as much as I can here. As you can see, I don't see any any circuits that are damaged or burned or anything like that. I don't see any obvious problems with it anywhere. All looks fine to me. I mean, I don't know what to look for, but anyhow, these two circuits right here, that one and that one, where these two wires come out of is where I connected my my meter, and with the with it plugged in and the trigger on, I had 240 248 volts across these two. And it's confusing to me because it says if you have voltage, you're supposed to replace the welder. But yet when you look on the schematic, V5 says it should have voltage between 60 and 120 volts. It's got 240, so I'm not sure what the deal is. Um, I don't know if there's a short in the transformer or what the deal is. But anyhow, that's what I got voltage across those two. But the problem we're having is with the welder on and your welding, you turn the voltage potentiometer, it don't matter where it's set at, it's always on high. And I'll show you that here. Turn it on. I'm gonna leave my wire feed on six. <coughs> I got non-flux core wire. I got 75, 25 gas right there. Connections are correct. Positive. Um, it's going to the welder, negative's going to ground, like it's supposed to. So I need to weld, I'll weld here, I'll leave, turn the, the volts all the way down to zero. Well, actually, no, I'll take it back, I'm gonna turn them all the way up, as high as they'll go and weld with it. I'll show you what it does. Get my welding hood here. I need you to film this. Okay, when I strike an arc, it, it's going to have high voltage. Hold on. Ready? Yep. You can see how high the voltage is on it. And now, I'll turn this all the way down to nothing, to the low as it'll go. Feed's still the same, everything's still the same. See how hot that is? Burns right through it. So the heat does not change. No matter what it's set at, the heat doesn't change, it burns right through it. So that's the video. Uh, I'll figure out how to get this to you guys, but you can see that's what the problem is is no matter what I do this I can have this on whatever setting I want and it, it, it just puts out full blast output So I don't know if this potentiometer is bad or there's something bad in the welder itself But this is the video so I'll make this and send it to you guys. All right. Thanks. Bye